Season 6 of BattleBots is here, and we're back with an upgraded version of the blood sport you saw in 2020, now with 40% more blood! And of course, a whole new set of blades to talk about. Last time, we went through all the reasons that our tri-bar broke against Gruff last year, and now we've got a brand new version to avenge the old one. I'm Nick, weapons engineer for Team Bloodsport, and if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. To recap for those who are new, last year at BattleBots, we showed up with a tri-tooth blade to try and solve some of the problems that we had in 2019. Namely, the fact that our bot was horribly unstable and even flung itself out of the arena one time. Explaining this effect can and will be its own separate video eventually, but it turns out that a long, narrow bar will want to tumble in all kinds of strange ways after a hit, while a triangle spinner like Son of Waiachi will stay level, because physics. Bloodsport isn't Son of Waiachi, though, and our weapon is about 40 pounds lighter than theirs, so obviously the construction of our tri-bar wound up being pretty different. We had good luck with our solid 3 quarter inch S7 tool steel bar in 2019, so we gave it another go in 2020. A tri-bar is totally different, though, and between adding more weapon weight, splitting that weight and strength between three arms rather than two, and the overall brittleness of S7, the tri-bar died a spectacular death at the hands of Gruff. So what did we change for the new version? Well, the most important change is that instead of using S7 tool steel, we switched to AR500, which is a tougher steel alloy that they use to make dump trucks and shooting targets. AR500 is not as good at cutting as tool steel is, and it's actually a bit weaker, but it has a much higher impact toughness, meaning that it's way less brittle and won't be prone to shattering like the old blades. We do expect to see more wear and tear on the teeth, and maybe even a bit of bending in the long term, but that's just how it goes at BattleBots. Nothing lasts forever, but as long as we can finish the fight, the part did its job. Of course, we can also try to minimize the bending by changing the design. To make Try Again stronger, we, uh, put a bunch of holes in the middle. Mm-hmm. Now actually, what this does is take the material from the middle of the base of each arm, where there's almost no stress during a hit and move it out to widen the base of the arm and strengthen everything in that area. The arms are also a bit shorter, with the new tri-bar being only 42 inches in diameter instead of 46. These two changes make the bending stresses a lot lower, and makes try again a lot stronger at the point where the old tri-bar broke. Now that we have a design and a material choice, the weapon actually has to get made. This is where one of our new sponsors comes in for this year, Tell Steel. Tell Steel is a steel service center serving much of Southern California with a huge variety of different steel and aluminum options. Tell also has a wide array of different tools and machines to handle the fabrication needs of their customers, ranging all the way from band saws to water jet and plasma cutters. They had exactly what we needed and made up the new tri bar for us to exacting specifications, along with another new bar and all the weapons for retrograde. Huge thanks to them for all their help this season. Check them out at tellsteel.com. And with that, Try Again is ready to go for Season 6. What do you think will happen when we hit Whiplash with it? Make sure to watch tonight at 8pm on Discovery to find out. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our awesome sponsors. Thanks for watching.